and welcome to this week's case of the week, testicular microlithiasis. My name is Aptin Jafrudafar and I'm a fourth year radiology resident at SUNY Upstate Medical University. The patient is a nine-year-old male with no significant past medical history who presented for pre-surgical evaluation of a right-sided undescended testes. There was no reported history of pain, swelling, or other constitutional symptoms. Physical exam demonstrated the right testes high in the right inguinal canal which was able to reach but not stay within the scrotal sac with manipulation. Transverse ultrasound examination through the testes demonstrated bilateral punctate hyperechoic foci scattered diffusely throughout the testicular parenchyma, as denoted by the white arrows in figure 1. No posterior acoustic shadowing was identified. The diffuse distribution of the hyperechoic foci is better demonstrated on the transverse cine clip in figure 2. Subsequent sagittal Doppler ultrasound images demonstrated normal parenchymal blood flow to the testes without any hyperemia. Again, the diffuse hyperechoic foci are denoted by the white arrows in figures 3a and 3b. The final diagnosis is testicular microlithiasis. Testicular microlithiasis is defined by equally distributed and uniformly sized punctate calcifications throughout the testes, measuring 1 to 3 millimeters. There is classically no posterior acoustic shadowing. The vast distribution is often referred to as the snowstorm or heaven full of stars appearance of the testes. The top differential diagnoses include teratocarcinoma, scrotal tuberculosis, and scrotal sarcoidosis. The main differentiating feature of testicular microlithiasis from these entities is the non-shadowing calcifications embedded diffusely within generally homogeneous testicular parenchyma. Conversely, teratocarcinoma and testicular sarcoidosis demonstrate regional hypoechoic foci. Moreover, Scrotal tuberculosis affects the epididymis and spreads to the testes, demonstrating enlarged and diffusely hypochoic testes on ultrasound examination. Take-home messages. Testicular microlithiasis is the deposition of punctate calcifications throughout the testes, which are asymptomatic and often discovered incidentally. The prevalence of asymptomatic testicular microlithiasis increases with age, which is believed to reflect the process's development over time. The modality of choice in evaluating testicular microlithiasis is ultrasound, which will reveal uniformly distributed punctate calcification within otherwise homogeneous testes and no posterior acoustic shadowing. The classic description of this diffuse distribution of calcification is referred to as the snowstorm or heaven full of stars appearance. The European Society of Urogenital Radiology classifies testicular microlithiasis from grade 1 through 4, with each grade defined by the number of visible microliths per field of view, starting with 5 to 10 microliths. The relevance of testicular microlithiasis is related to its possible relation to the risk of developing testicular neoplasms, such as germ cell tumors. No direct association has been established between the presence of testicular microlithiasis and the development of germ cell tumors. However, approximately half of all germ cell tumors demonstrate testicular microlithiasis on ultrasound imaging. Patients who are found to have testicular microlithiasis on ultrasound imaging should undergo yearly follow-up examination to the age of 55, according to the European Society of Urogenital Radiology Guidelines. Notably, these guidelines only apply to patients with already established risk factors for developing germ cell tumors, such as previous history of germ cell tumor, family history of germ cell tumor, or history of incomplete testicular descent. The presence of testicular microlithiasis alone, and in the absence of other risk factors for germ cell tumors, does not warrant yearly sonographic follow-up. Thank you.